Welcome back to the fourth part of our workshop. In today's section, we're going to talk about all of the different key skills and habits that you must develop in order to achieve the level of success you want to achieve in the next 12 months. As the best-selling author and leader John C. Maxwell mentioned, it's important to have a personal growth environment. If you're the smartest kid in the classroom, you're in the wrong classroom. So let's self-reflect and ultimately determine where the gaps are in your habits and your skills. So the question of the day is, what habits do you currently have that are making paying the price difficult for you? So paying the price is ultimately the steps and the grind of achieving your, your ideal level of success as a freelancer, as an agency owner, as a CEO of your business. So let's be vulnerable for a minute and make this list. So are you, so skills, I'll put skills that we need to improve. To improve here. Okay, so here are some examples. So do you lack discipline? Do you lack determination are you lazy poor attitude so these are just some key examples of core personal competencies that one may or may not have to improve so do you lack discipline do you lack determination? Are you lazy? Do you have a poor attitude? If any of those things that you've listed here is something that resonates with you, make that a priority to work on every single day. So for the sake of this example, we'll work with the lack of discipline as a personal competency that I want to improve. So I'll put personal competency. And then number two, you want to outline one or two business competencies that you need to improve. So example is leadership, right? So we'll, we'll write that over here. So business competencies. Need to improve leadership. Two, sales, right? Three, marketing. Right, these are all the examples of things that you can improve for your business as a CEO and a leader. So, so ultimately, let's select one from the business competency here and we'll put sales. Business competency. Okay, and with that being said, is once you've outlined your, your gaps here, and we can throw in a third one, let's make another one here, and we'll call it marketing, right? So we can work on three skills every single day in order to be an expert and to, lead, uh, to achieve the level of success that we need to in our business. So what you're gonna do is dedicate at least one hour per day to learning and applying what you're learning. So what I would recommend is to join, let's say for, for marketing, you can join the Ryan Dice uh, his monthly coaching program to learn one of the eight core disciplines for sales you can join grant cardone's 99 dollars program to teach you how to become better at closing deals number three you lack discipline you can set and schedule uh, routines that you can apply to your your daily life every single day to make sure that you build that discipline you can work with other people in terms of having an accountability system, 
in order to build that that discipline and then most importantly is you can ultimately model the successful so find people right experts one expert that can teach you these three skills because the problem with society nowadays with entrepreneurs with freelancers with coaches and no matter what you're doing is that we end up buying all these coaching programs and we become overwhelmed because we get conflicting information so the way one person operates is different from the next person and sometimes we even have coaches that don't apply what they're teaching so you do not want to hire anybody you want to become good at vetting out these coaches and mentors hiring the ones that may cost a little bit more money to really develop in these three core skills and the reason why you're developing in these core skills is because these are the golden nuggets the golden habits that are ultimately going to build you right and mold you into an expert that ultimately gets you more revenue gets you more confidence and gets you more results for your business so again a very simple way of outlining what you're going to work on hold yourself accountable a lot of these coaching programs allow you to track your progress but make sure you're not just going through the program to just go through the program go through to learn but every single day execute one small thing that is ultimately going to show your progress within these competencies so you're going to focus on one personal competency and focus on at least one business competency for the sake of this example I did two and these two are actually focused on the income producing activities so without marketing in your business you won't make money without sales in your business you won't make money so again um, at least one hour per day really 30 minutes of learning 30 minutes of execution and at the end of the week r retrospect think about what went well how you can improve the next go around and ultimately select one person that you can share the knowledge that you learned with so let's say you have a girlfriend she may not necessarily have her own business but then you can still show her and tell her how the things that you learned throughout the week may be applicable to her life and let's say this girlfriend or a friend is not like reciprocal doesn't want to learn from you it may be one of two reasons number one they're not interested in their own personal growth which means you need to kick them out of your your core group and number two is they may just not be happy for you and if they're not happy for you you need to kick them out of your group so again that goes back to creating a growth environment and investing in yourself as an individual so thank you again for watching this video and hopefully this gives you enough information to get kick-started with growing yourself as a CEO thank you